Greetings Commanders, welcome to this short video on how to use the FSS Scanner. First thing you need to know is what to press to open the FSS Scanner. You will find this in your, in your ship controls, mode switches at the bottom, and this is the key. It's uh, by default it's the apostrophe, so bear that in mind. Once you've jumped into a system, let's go back. You can enter the FSS scanner by clicking the apostrophe key in this case. And you'll be presented with this screen. And this can be somewhat daunting. But essentially, you tune in like you would on a radio to a station. So the extreme left is transient signal sources, which come and go. Let's see if we can find one. We'll just move it around with the, jo with the joystick. Zoom in. That's an encoded emissions. Move it further around. And there's even more. And you can zoom in in multiple levels. And then zoom out. You might have to redo the key bindings for this. But it's usually the fire button and the secondary fire button. Depending on what you're using to control. So the weapons fire there. That's a different one. There are a number of different types of these. You have weapons fire, which indicates there's a battle going on. So you could probably get involved. There's convoy dispersal pattern, which, uh, again, it's combat that you could possibly get involved with. And then you have degraded emissions, which are places where you can pick up materials. And then once they're on the dial, you just see on the dial there's no more wiggly bits above it that means all of them have been found so we'll roll over to asteroid clusters and they're usually sitting around stars so we can we should be able to find those relatively quickly and you just move around this doesn't actually move your ship in any way Now, we'll just go on to icy bodies. It's a, there's a good chance the sun is in the way a lot of the time, or it's too far away. So we'll move on to gas giants. And brown gas giants is where you might find the icy bodies. You see where it's sort of flashing up with the those little light points? You'll probably find that those, once you zoom in, are bodies. Now if you get a, da a dash line like that it means it's almost tuned in. So you just turn it slightly, zoom in, and it will give you a, a lot of information about the, the planet you've just scanned. You've got to be dead on. But get it right in there. So let's go back over to asteroid clusters. Now they're usually around a star, and there's usually a lot of them. But you only have to do one, and it'll pick up all of the belt clusters. So it looks like there's another one arrived. You just turn the dial like you would on a tuning in a radio station on an old radio, if you're old enough to remember that. That's what tuning in comes from. So there's another gas giant. So they're all the big ones that I found. So we can find a few small, small ones. And we'll just move around. They will actually indicate where they are with the arrows. And then you just find the circle. And zoom in, and you've uh, scanned the planet. There's even more there. So move, zoom in, zoom out. You can zoom out quite a lot. 
There's another one there. You can just see it sort of pulsing. And there will be an audible signal as well. Each thing in the, in the universe gives off its own noise. It's what a lot of radio telescopes actually listen for. Should have. We've got two more bodies. It will actually tell you up in the top right how many bodies are left. And it will tell you when you're done. And then you just press the same button again, which is the apostrophe key, and you're done. I hope that helps you with the FSS. Thanks for watching.